Hi, Alexa Henderson. Daddy Curtis Henderson. I just want to say happy holidays. I mean, at least I get a chance to say happy holidays to you. Merry Christmas. Daddy is always thinking about you. I mean, I understand that you are in a very difficult situation. I mean, you you I mean, you didn't ask to be brought into this situation. Things could be very simple, but Patricia and Veronica Robinson choose to make everything complicated. I mean, this is their choice, you know? And you was just brought into this and I got caught up and I want to say to you, especially Alexa, just be happy, you know, focus on what you need to do in your life and make things better for you. I mean, it's a lot of stuff that you don't really quite understand right now. I mean, because, you know, they, they tried to, to brainwash you and make you think the worst about your father. But none of that stuff is true, you know. They know exactly what they did. I mean, all that ignorant stuff, all that childish stuff. Here you is. You got two grown people, an adopted mother, and the baby's mother. And they playing all these mind games. I mean, I mean, they just go on and on with that nonsense. And one day, when you grow up, you're going to realize that, that all that stupid, nonsense, ignorant stuff, it didn't make any sense. And whatever you do, do not incorporate that lifestyle into your lifestyle. When you grow up and have kids, please take it from dad. Please. Do not let Patricia Robinson and Veronica Robinson's bad ways rub off on you. I mean, because this stuff can just go on and on and on through generation, generation. And somebody has to break that cycle. You know, you know, they just used to just keeping up a whole lot of mess and that kind of thing, you know, with the baby's father because they only thinking about a check. Man, I don't even worry about that kind of stuff. I mean, you can look at me. I mean, I'm a, I'm at peace with myself, you know. I don't have any problems. I'm at peace with myself. And uh, the good Lord is taking care of me. And as long as you know that you are at peace with yourself, Alexa, don't let nobody... Don't let nobody just try to mess up your head and mess up your life and try to turn you against your father. I mean, you, you're in a bad situation. Yeah, dad understand that. But if you, if you look at it with a rational mind, you can see right through that. I know you're 10 years old. I mean, you, 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 you know what's going on, but... You are in a situation where really you don't have any say so, which I can understand that, you know, you're still a child, a 10 year old child, but always remember this. I'm your dad. And uh, what Patricia and Veronica Robinson did, they know exactly what they did. And, you know, you know, the thing that that really concerns me. They never, they never correct the bad situation. Huh? Is that what you say, Santa? They never correct the bad situation. They just go around and just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. So I'm to a point in my life, Santa, I don't worry about this stuff no more. If they won't let you talk to me, I understand, Santa. I understand.
they can keep you away as long as they want to. But I don't care. <laughs> because I know, hey Santa, I know exactly what they are doing. That is so crazy when adopted grandma uses a kid to keep the kid away from the father. What do you say, Santa Claus? That is so crazy. <laughs> That's so crazy, man. Man, here it is, another Christmas. You're 10 years old. She's 10 years old, Santa Claus. And guess what? They never let Alexa pick up the phone and call her father. For Christmas, New Year's, holidays, no kind of holiday Santa. They just completely just do not want Alexa to be a part of her father's life. But I understand, man. This girl, she don't have any control of nothing, Santa. And she's just caught up in a situation, you know. She was brought into, Alexa was brought into a bad situation with very difficult people who only think about themselves. So right now, I mean, I, I don't have time to be, you know, trying to figure out these crazy people. Sometimes in life, you just get caught up and you get thrown a curved ball. You know what I mean, Santa? You get caught up with a curved ball and they just totally just mess up your life. And if you're not wise enough to see what's going on and to see things for what it is, you know, you'll get caught up. <laughs> you know what I mean, Santa? You'll get caught up, you know. And I refuse to get caught up because, hey, Pops, I know who I am and I'm at peace with myself. And that's something that Patricia Robinson and Veronica Robinson has to deal with is the, the lies and all the things that they have done and destroyed your life and tried to destroy my life. But as long as you put God first, Alexa Henderson, and you know who you are, please do not let this stuff affect you in no kind of way. They are using you to try to break me down as a father. But I'm way past that. I don't have time for the mind games. You know, this, this little kind of stuff like with Patricia and Veronica are playing, that's childish stuff. I mean, that, that's something little teenagers do. You got a grown woman, Patricia Robinson, is catering to this kind of stuff. And she's only thinking about a check from her adopted daughter and she don't really care. But right now, I, I don't I don't have time, Santa Claus, to be dealing with all this crazy stuff. My life is just so beautiful and I'm so happy. I mean, long as God knows that that I've been trying to be a father from the day you were born. Santa, from the day my baby girl was a born, these people totally have destroyed the connection, the bonding. And so not a one time have they let Alexa Henderson say, Merry Christmas, Dad. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Pops. Merry Christmas, Pops. <laughs> Not a was, you know. But I'm at peace with myself, and I just want to say, you out there listening, Alexa, please, whatever you do, just stay in school. Make good grades. Please do not let this stuff affect you no kind of way. I mean, you know who you are, and you know you have a good dad. I mean, every girl, any kid wish wishes 
to have their father in their life, you know? And then you got a mother, an adopted mother, who's just keeping up a whole lot of unnecessary mess and tries to destroy, you know, a kid's life and her father's life because it's only what they want out of it. They just want a check. A check. That's all they want. A check. And once you get, once you turn 18, they're going to set you free. And by that time, they're going to think you, you are so messed up. I mean, this stuff can psychological mess up your mind because of all this nonsense. And I'm a good person with, with a good spirit, with a, with a good mind. You know, I, I don't walk around with a whole lot of nonsense embedded inside of me because I don't have time for it. <laughs> My life is beautiful. And I just wish and pray the best for my daughter for Christmas and that one day she will make arrangements and she will try to contact her father some way, somehow. But right now, you know, they got you too scared and everything. And I, I understand that. And they Anytime somebody is just constantly telling you a whole lot of negative stuff and they're not even allowing you a chance to communicate with your father and be a part of your father's life, it's something wrong with that person. You know what I mean? Always remember this, Alexa. Santa Claus. You tell him. Tell her. Always remember the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. Love thy father and thy mother. Don't let no one take your blood away from you. Your blood father. Don't let nobody take that away from you. And so when you grow up, you're going to have your own mind. And you're going to realize that they had you in a position as a kid, you, you know, to just control you, manipulate you, and just keep your life at a standstill from not having your father in your life. So, I'm a happy man, you know. I did what I had to do. And... I know that everything's going to be all right on my end. I'm at peace with myself. And I just want to say to my baby girl one more time, I'm going to give you a big old hug. Santa, how would I give Alexa a big hug? Mm, my baby girl, I see them big pretty cheeks. Mwah! Daddy loves you, Alexa. And don't you ever forget that. Your pops loves you. And I just want to say happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Pops always love you. And Pops is always thinking about you. When you have kids, you never, a real person, just never just walk away and let somebody else or someone else just destroy that and take all that away, you know. But anyway, you take care. You stay sweet. All right, Alexa. You take care. Bye-bye. 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 Give me a hug. Bye-bye, <laughs> Alexa. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You take care now. Pops loves you, baby. <laughs>